Qui parle français ici bon, Bonjour, comment ça va Vous êtes à peu près tout ce que vous avez entendu en français, puisque c'est des oreilles anglophones comme ici. I want to thank all my ministers for exploring uh, our platform. They did it really well. The Rhinos First Party was founded in 1963 by Dr. Jacques Ferrand and a bunch of fools and intellectuals because they wanted to show the ridicule of the Canadian system for Quebec. And after they, they participated in all the elections, then in 1978, I joined. We were a bunch of clowns and musicians on the street. We decided that it was our duty to participate in the election, but no party accepted us as members, so we had to create our own because we dress funny, we talk funny, we fart in public, we do all kinds of things. Then, in 1979, we became an official party in Canada with 69 candidates through Canada, and we got 69,000 votes. At that time, we promised to have an election every six months. Well, six months later, in 1980, there was an election. We had 121 candidates through Canada, and we got 121,000 votes. And then we started to play at each election. Then in 92, uh, they raised the, 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 the caution from $200 to $1,000, and you needed 50 candidates to be an official party. We didn't have $50,000, so we decided to boycott. We were also a little bit tired. So we, we ended the Rhinoceros Party. I went into burlesque terrorism then. I was uh, thrown by, I threw a pie in front in the face of the chief of police of Montreal who was running for mayor. I didn't throw the pie, I brought the pie to his face. And then in 2006, uh, we decided to go back into election because there was too much danger with burlesque terrorism. So we Decided we formed the Neo Rhino Party of Canada, Neo for Neo in the Matrix movie, and Rhino for the old rhinos. We wrote a manifesto called Achievable Utopia. In that, we have history, and we we decide to have a platform. But they all said our platform: we want to abolish the military budget, we want to abolish the fiscal evasion paradise, and we want to abolish Canada to make like Europe different countries, so we could say Vive l'économie britannique libre, Vive l'Alberta libre, Vive l'Ontario libre, et Vive le Québec libre. And then we felt a little strange because we said, wow, we're just a bunch of little Frenchies there and we're surrounded with all these anglophones. So we wanted to unite with Cuba and create a new country called Quebec. <laughs> Actually, we went four times uh, in, in Cuba. We, we went to the Kalak of the Five Heroes of Cuba. We were there, they invited us. And we made a film, which is on sale after, because we have to pay our train fare. And then last year, I live in Namai Land in Montreal. And a lot of microphones come, artists and musicians come there. But finally, the, the, the district became a lot English speaking. So we decided to make a little book of Learn French and French a lot to teach anglophones in Montreal to learn French and French a lot. So they do now. It's also for sale. And, <laughs> and then I want to show you the example that we are fools, but in uh, 1980 we promised to abolish the law of gravity. Two years ago, the founder of Cirque du Soleil, Guy La Liberté, bought it himself a 30, 35 million trip to, to space. Well, I sent him an email and I said, could you bring a, a rhino back in space? He said, yes. So when he came back, he gave it to me and he took a picture. And the rhino badge is just there, hanging there, in, in, in the air. So we did about the law of gravity finally. <laughs> Before we promised to never to keep our promise because we, we, we 
learn from other politicians <laughs> what to do. So that's what we do. And now you can see in, uh, in Iceland, in Reykjavik, there was a municipal election. And you can check, check that on the internet. Right? The best party, there are a bunch of comedians and uh, singers, and they won. They won in Reykjavik. And in Brazil, there's a clown called Siri Rica in Sao Paulo, and he got 1,500,000 votes. Because in Brazil, you are obliged to vote, or they take out your Brazilian uh, citizenship. So we promise that if you, uh, we should oblige Canadian people to vote so they can get their Brazilian nationality. <laughs> So that's about it. Just to show you that money-wise, here's the $2 that we made with one penny, because they're going to throw them away. Eh? <laughs> so we decided we recycle them, and we call it $2, two dollars art piece. But in Montreal, in different bars and places, you can go there and it's worth $2. You can buy a beer or pay whatever is $2. So economy-wise, we are not that full for you. And here is an example of uh, our campaign. This year, we promise you the moon, and we promise you the return of the smile on a Canadian passport. Because we are becoming a nation. <laughs> so check our website, neoroyal.ca, and vote for whoever you want. <laughs>